everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a mouse trail. Let's get started. So, what you're going to want to do is you're not going to need the cat for this tutorial, unfortunately. And you're going to want to go ahead and make a circle. Hold, click the circle tool, choose the color you want, hold the shift, and click and drag. And that will make the circle. And you probably don't want it to be too big. Definitely don't want it to be too big, actually. Um, and you want to make sure that it does not have an outline so it doesn't look that bad. Okay, now it's time for the code. So this will work with clones, lots of clones. So go ahead and make the main code. When green flag clicked, you're going to want to hide the sprite. And that will make sure that the main sprite is not shown and only the clones. Go to front layer, so it's at the front then forever create clone of itself. So this is how the clones are generated. Now we need the code for the clones so that they do what we want them to do. So when I start as a clone, you're going to want to go ahead and show the sprite. And then go to mouse pointer because you want it to be at the mouse. And it's going to be with this go to random position block, and then you just select mouse part. Now you're going to want to make a new variable, make it for this sprite only because it'll be for the clone, and set it and make it called clone direction. And this will store the direction of the clone. And now you're going to set the clone direction to two. Actually, sorry, make that pick random. One, two, two. Got ahead of myself there. And now, add an if else block. If clone direction equals one, you're going to want to have it point in a random direction. And the direction will be between. 0 and negative 180, and that's anywhere left. So it's going to be pointing in a random direction left. Point in direction. Pick random, 0 to negative 180. And if you click on the direction here, you'll be able to see the directional thing. So over here is negative all the way to 180, and here is 0. And so anything over here is left. Over here, though, is the right. And so that's going to be the next thing, the else condition. Otherwise, point in direction 0 to 180. Next, you're going to want to add a repeat block. Repeat 15 times. Move pick random one to three steps, and that just adds some variety to the clone so they don't all move in the same spot. You can just duplicate that over one to three. And then change ghost effect by pick random two to seven. And that will make it so that they fade out the further away they get from the mouse pointer. And then at the end of all that, you're going to want to delete this clone so that there's room for more of them. Now it's time to test it. Okay, so let's go into full screen mode and test it. So if you click the green flag, you'll see. Look at that. That's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment below any ideas you have or any requests that you have for any tutorials and any feedback or concerns that you have. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.